to have some ground rules. So the first thing is this. I need you to raise your right hand. And say, I. I. Now say your name. Promise. Promise. To use my martial arts. Use Respectfully. Respectfully. Courteously. Courteously. And kindly. And kindly. All right, put your hands down. So you ready? Listen to me. Shake it out. Do what I do and say what I say. Ready? Attention. Attention. it together. Now, this is the first most important lesson in martial arts. It stands for focus and concentration. Say focus and concentration, sir. Focus and concentration, sir. After showing such great focus and concentration, you're not moving a muscle. Right now, you can only blink your eyes and breathe. And if a bald eagle came, and he was flying, and he majestically landed on this young lady's head. She would not move a muscle. Who here ever gets angry? Wow. So who do you get angry at? Your brother. Who do you get angry at? Your sister. Who do you get angry at? My brother and sister. Brother and sister. Who do you get angry at? I asked this question to the group before, but it, is it appropriate to throw things when you're angry? No. Is it appropriate to say bad words? No. Is it appropriate to hit someone? No. Is it okay to be angry? Yes. See, it's okay to be angry. Colby, Colby. so Colby, you're right here with me. Now, if Colby and I are having words with each other, we're getting upset with each other, and my body does this, how do I look? Okay, now watch this. What if I'm this way? I look scared, right? What if I'm this way? What if I'm this way? How do I look now? Like I'm going to stop him? Do I look calm? Do I look strong? See, this is what's called our self-defense dance. And that's the way I want to teach you to use your body. Yes, sir? Yes, sir! The next time you're upset, you need to be calm and breathe. Say, be calm. Be calm. And breathe. And breathe. It's like, listen, I'm in my self-defense stance, and I said, I don't want trouble, you don't want trouble, but you know, if we get in a fight over this, we're both going to get in trouble. It's called a polite, it's called a polite warning. Say polite warning. So you can either use, you, first you have to have your anger guard. It's like, I bet when someone calls you a twerp, that gets you really upset, right? But now maybe next time in your head you can go, oh, there's old twerpy jerpy again. <laughs> now look at you smile, look at you smile, just a little bit, right? And so when that happens, now in your mind you can think clearly, because when you're angry, it's hard to think clearly, isn't it? Remember that example I used when you started yelling at your mom, you're so angry? You gotta be able to be calm. And then you can use humor, or you can use a polite warning. Say humor. Humor. Or a polite warning. Right in front of you, you're so angry. Say it again. Say stop. Stop. I'm too angry to talk right now. I need to take a cool down. I need to take a cool down. You see, we can all sit around and talk about being kind, can't we? Yes. You know, it's all neat, oh, we're so kind, we're all, we sing songs and we're happy, right? But it really happens when you start taking action. First it starts with how you're being, and then it starts, then it, it continues with what you're doing to show, right? Because you have to take action to be kind, don't you? Yes. So I have what I call Kindness Counts flyers here. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. When you leave today, over the next week, I'm challenging you to do what I call 10, at least 10, random acts of kindness. Your mom just makes you the best meal ever, right? So you go home tonight, she makes you a great dinner, and you know she's worked hard all day. And after dinner, she just gets done, and she's got the plates there, they're all over the table, and the dishes need to be done, and you say, hey mom, just tonight, just have a seat. Let me handle this. And then your mom goes, <laughs> and she just like passes out because she can't believe how, how kind you're being, right? If you do, if each one of you do 10, the whole school would do 6,000. If each one of you did 20, 
the whole school would do 12,000. If every one of you did 50, the whole school would do 30,000. Wouldn't that be neat? And can you imagine how neat this would be if everyone was being kind to each other? Who wants to do this with me? Is that cool? It's cool to be kind, right? Yeah. All right, that's all right. All right, you're going to use your martial arts respectfully, kindly, and courteously. So when you leave this room, you're very quiet, boys and girls. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. So I'm going to say, what's our goal? And you're going to respond, black belt, excellence, sir. Say, black belt. Black belt. Excellence. Excellence. Sir. All right, so attention position. What's our goal? Black belt. Excellence. And give yourself some energy. Good job, guys.